inspired candy try taste test Tuesday. Do I look like I'm from the 1960s? No? Cool. Okay. These are a little bit distracting. <laughs> I went to Pine and Fancy, which is a candy store, and I got this 1960s inspired candy, nostalgic candy mix, a flashback in candy form. So woo! if you guys want to stick around and see what's in the box, what kind of candy was popping in the 1960s, your girls gotcha. But first, here are my social medias. You can follow me up there. And if you guys wish to subscribe to me, I would love you guys to do so, so much. Okay. Ah! Okay, so they have a little paper in here of what everything is and the nutritional information. But girl, if you're eating candy, do you really care about the nutritional information? Like if you're eating a meal and you, you know, and you want to know how much salt is in it, I get it. But like you're eating candy, like it's sugar. <laughs> Let's just grab this first one. Motor mouth, wacko wax, wax lips, play now, chew later. Okay. Okay, wait, is it edible? <laughs> Starting this taste as strong, I don't know if you can eat this. <laughs> oh, so cute. Mm-hmm. Can I got lipstick all over it? You're not supposed to eat this. <laughs> ah! Well, the first ingredient is refined wax. Dot! Dots, assorted fruit flavored gumdrops. I've had these a very, very, very long time ago. There's five flavors, strawberry, lemon, cherry, lime, and orange. This is what the box looks like, and they do look like little dots. I just got red, but there's tons of other colors. I'm gonna go ahead and try the strawberry one, or not, I'll try the lemon one. Uh, I can't do it, cut. look, it's this stuck. I don't like candy like that. If I'm gonna eat something, I wanna eat it. You know what I mean? Not try to eat it, like I wanna eat it. Strawberry. The flavor is so good, I just wish I could show it. I can't. Mm. Are these old? Oh, what's this? A Tootsie Pop! Oh my God, I haven't seen a Tootsie Pop in so long. I don't think I've ever even had a Tootsie Pop. Yeah, right. This is grape flavor, guys. I can't make this up on my channel. This is grape flavor. If you are like new to my channel, you're gonna be like, oh, so eat it, like whatever. Grape is my worst, worst flavor. I can't eat it. I did a story time on why I can't eat grape. I will link it in this video, okay, in the description box. Go check it out. But for the sake of this taste test, I'm going to. Oh, well, I love you guys. Doesn't taste like grape. There we go. Okay, that was cool. But this is like a sucker. It's delicious in other flavors, but not grape. Like, of course, my ass would get grape. What is this? Nick lip? Nick lip? <laughs> Nick lip? I've never heard of these. Bite them, drink them, chew them. Mini drinks. Cool. They don't tell you what flavors they are. Oh well. They're like little bottles, like so. So adorable. First of all, this has to go on my Instagram story. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. I bit the cap off. I'm actually drinking candy. That tastes like Kool-Aid a little. Not as sugary as I was expecting it to be. Now you chew it. Why? It's just wax. It's not even like sweet. Why would I chew it? Honestly, what was the 60s? Oh my God, oh my God, a candy necklace. I love these. Oh, it smells so good. So basically you wear it as a necklace and then you eat it. No, bitch. <gasps> ah! This is a nightmare. When it's on you, you, you bite it like that. It's just like crunchy sugar. It doesn't have a terrible flavor though. It's not bland or anything. It's just crunchy and powdery. It's not much. I feel like it's just a novelty to wear it, but now I can't wear it because that's awesome. Honestly, you get a lot of candies in here. Okay, what is this? Stick candy? Licorice. Love licorice. Okay, we go. Yum. I'm more about chocolate. Like I like to actually eat things and not just like suck it. Mmm. Mm. I just really like licorice. Some people hate it, and then other people hate grape. Mm -mm -mm. This one so far I think is the best. 
out of all of them. My tongue is already turning black. Sugary, yummy, mm, flavor is delicious. It doesn't taste like fake or plasticky. Not as fun as the bottles, but yeah. There's a lot of candy in here. We got original Red Hot Cinnamon Candy, 25 cents. Is that how much they were back then? Red Hots, are these gonna be really spicy? Well, they look like cinnamon hearts. So they're like tiny little red candies. Okay, now this is gonna be me. I'm gonna bite it because I'm gonna think it's gummy and it's gonna be a hard candy and I'm gonna break my tooth. So you just suck on it. Oh my god, yum. Not spicy, like um, sugary cinnamon. Things like this small scare me to suck on. I can eat things like this, but this to me, it's like if I laugh the wrong way, it's gonna get lodged and then I'm gonna choke. I overthink a lot. Welcome to my channel. I'm definitely gonna keep these in my purse. Those are good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is, now I know that this is an American box. <laughs> yeah, New York. Okay, American. You know how I know this is American? Because these, it says Smarties on it. This shit is not Smarties. This is Rockets, okay? So we have these in the exact same packaging, the exact same logo, the ex everything is the identical, but they're called Rockets. And these are called Smarties in US. I don't know about other places, I'm just saying like in Canada, they are Rockets. You guys all know M&Ms, right? The candy, the chocolate candy. There's also in Canada, we have M&M's, but we, all, we also have Smarties, and they're the exact same things as M&M's. They're the hard candies um, with chocolate in the middle, and they look identical to M&M's without the M on them. Those are Smarties. So this is not Smarties. Smarties are chocolate. And this is pretty much the necklace that we had too. That just goes to show that different places have different ways of doing things, and nobody's right or wrong. You just gotta accept it or don't, you know? Tastes like a rocket. You kind of chew these, you know what I mean? Like, I like to suck on them for a little bit, then chew them because they get soft, chalky, powdery. They don't have much of a flavor. They're kind of sour. <laughs> Next is Sugar Daddy. Oh, Sugar Daddy. I'm embarrassing, I feel. Like a sucker, but caramel. I haven't had the candies like this for so long. So good. Caramel is my middle name. Mm. Honestly, I'm not even trying to be a fail this taste test, and now I'm getting a little mad because everything is failing on me. Ugh. Mm. So yummy. Like buttery caramel flavor. This is a dad's old fashioned root beer. Oh, this is a little sucky candy. And it's a barrel. Automatically root beer. Wow. When they say root beer, they ain't kidding. Mmm. This is the official best flavored thing. I didn't know dad's root beer was in the 1960s. Atomic Fireball. Okay, now is this gum or is it candy? I'm not gonna break my tooth. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's spicy. Oh my god. Oh. Oh! If you have bad breath, pop one of these then. No more bad breath. Burns all up. Oh. I'm oh. not. I'm gonna need something to take that out of my mouth. What the heck is this? Neko, the original candy wafer, an American classic. Oh yay, I've never heard of this. Candy wafer? I love the packaging. Okay, this is like old school packaging to me. Candy wafer, I'm a little intimidated. Okay. Okay, we're not trying the orange one. Okay, lemon. Kind of tastes like those hearts that you get on Valentine's Day. Wafer to me is like soft and layers and you can just bite it. You can't just bite this one. Interesting flavor, very different than anything else. I don't really like that actually. Ah. Oh my God, yes. Okay, what are you calling this? Smarties pop? Smarties are chocolate. Look at how this is wrapped. Like what, this is so so wound up, like I can't even. What is this? Thanks, screwdriver. <sighs> smells like medicine. It just tastes like you're licking a chalkboard. Like the consistency is a chalkboard, but the flavor is like the rocket. It makes your mouth completely dry. Dry, send water. Ugh. What the heck? It's a cigar, pink owl bubble gum. Oh my gosh, I need that in a perfume. 
Just take a little bite out of it and then close it back up and then that's your bubble gum. Hard bubble gum, amazing flavor. It don't come at me, but it tastes like Pepto-Bismol. Yum. <laughs> Getting softer now. I'm not really a bubble gum fan. Like I like gum, but it has to be like mints or something like that. Something really refreshing and cooling. I don't really like bubble gum, but this. This is like the OG bubble gum right here. I can already tell I won't be able to blow a bubble. Cause it's so hard. Ah! We got two more things left. This little thing is called Jaw Busters. Great! So wait, is it candy or gum? I feel like nothing says what it is, you know? Oh, it's a jawbreaker, obviously, right? So you just suck on it and suck on it and suck on it. Yummy flavor, lemony. Ain't nobody got time for that. And the very last thing in this 1960s inspired taste test is Tootsie Roll! Cotton candy, sweet and low. Let me see that Tootsie Roll. I feel like Tootsie Rolls are going out of fashion. When I was in um, grade school, this is what we would always get for Halloween candy. And I love it. Chocolate, like fudgy chocolate. Actually, 13 reasons why Clay is eating a Tootsie Roll. The long one, right? Mm. It's good. Chewy, hard to chew. But once you get it chewing, mm, it's like hot chocolate. Oh, so that was my 1960s inspired taste test. Trying candy from the 1960s. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these taste test Tuesdays, then give it a thumbs up. I love to do these themed ones. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Stay beautiful and happy and smiling and try something new this Tuesday because that's what I do every Tuesday. Bye guys.